Huh? The sharp sound of the doorbell pierced my sleeping haze. I'm really back to the real world. Makoto. Get out here. Yoko, what's going Indeed. on? Indeed. Hina came to see me and she was white as a ghost. Sounds like something happens. What? As soon as I heard those words, my heart started to beat a little faster. I suddenly found myself wide awake. She said for us to come to the rec room. The rec room? Okay, let's hurry. What's up, Tina? You know what's wrong? Some, something's not right. In the rec room? What's inside? There's a window of the rec room door, and I hurried to look inside. And when I did... Sakura? Is she unconscious? She's sitting up in the chair like she's bowing her head. Hey. What's going on? Something happened to her? Huh? I was just walking past, and I happened to notice her through the window. I couldn't get the door open. <clears throat> I tried knocking, but I, I tried calling your name, but she wouldn't respond. Huh? So what do we should we do? What are we gonna do? Anyway. First of all, we need to get in that room. The door's locked, right? And if we break in, we'll be violent school regulations. Listen to me. We're going to force our way in. I just said Wrong. the door isn't locked. It's not locked because the rec room doesn't have a lock. And why? It would seem... feels like the door was pressing against something in the room. Is it the chair? The chair. In other words. Either, either way, the door isn't locked, which means, as far as I can tell, the rule doesn't apply. <coughs> and there's no problem if we break in. Indeed. Let's smash the window. It should be the fastest way. Okay, I'll go get something to break it with. Wait, right here. Inside the rec room, Sakura still hasn't moved an inch. She's unconscious, right? Is she okay? I mean, it's Sakura, so I'm sure. Kyoko didn't reply. There's only silence, but that silence didn't last long. Here. I found a broom. Up. In the classroom. Use it. <clears throat> Makoto. You can handle this, right, Makoto? Please. Oh, please, hurry! Okay, you two, stand back. I pulled the broom and swung as hard as I could, aiming directly at the window. All it took was one solid hit. The window shattered into a hundred pieces, scattering across the rec room floor. Suck my hand through the now open window and start jostling the chair leaning against the door. The chair is pretty heavy, but if I can just push on it with all my strength, then finally I knocked her. Sakura! I ran as far to her as fast as I could the moment I laid my hand on her. Damn. No! Not my favorite girl! All I felt was cold death! I could only feel the last lingering warmth of a living body. Life had abandoned Sakura's body, and then... Here it is. Man, this trial came up quick. Holy shit. A body has been discovered after a certain amount of time, which you may use however you like. The class trial will begin. Holy shit, here we go again. <laughs> Deadly life, baby. Oh my god, this game is so much fun. Huh? Ah, Sakura's. Sakura's dead? Yep. Not her. She was my fave. I'm so mad. She's really dead? I came out talking when my eyes started stared steadily forward. I only look on. That's Sakura's dead body. <clears throat> it didn't make it in time. It happened again. Loving herself, Kyoko began to gently inspect Sakura's body. I wonder if she confirmed that Sakura really was dead, checking for a pulse for a reaction. I have to go get them. I have to go get the others. Shaky legs, he left the rec room, and I... Why? Why does this have to happen? That's all I could say. Repeat it over and over again. I need to examine Sakura's body. I just stood there motionless behind her while she checked Sakura's corpse. Time passed while I stood there unable to do a thing. Time just passed. And after I don't know how long, I got everyone. What? Ogre! 
Oh, so she's dead. Oh, you're back, boy. Oh. My last thing's not as short as train. There we go. Oh, so she's dead, huh? I see. Sakura's been killed. I see. As soon as they arrived, Kyoko began. Just a second. You heard the announcement just now, right? So you know what this means. Hmm. Sakura's murdered by someone in this very room. Is that what you're going to say? Huh? No. Whoever killed her. It's not just someone in this it's room. Your fault. It's one of you. Hero Byaki Otoko, one of you killed Sakura. What? 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 Accusing us before we even begun the investigation? I don't need to investigate anything. Because you hated her. You hated the sight of her. I won't forgive you. What if you did it? I know it. You know it? Ba -bum, ba -bum. Jeez, I didn't know you had the power level would increase by that much just by getting mad. What the heck? Isn't it obvious? I'm here to hand out a little murder flyer! It's the Monokuma file! That's right! It's the next Monokuma file! Yeah. Don't get some madness, Ashihina! Or you're gonna ruin that lewd little face of yours! Hmm. Now then, with that, I... Hold on. Something I want to ask you. Huh? Hmm? It's you, wasn't it? You killed Sakura. Say what? Huh? Sakura wanna challenge the mastermind to a duel. Maybe you have fought again and then... In other words... And then I killed her! Hmm? Sorry, not quite! Actually, not even close. That whole thing is totally irrelevant now. Sakura came to me to my most regrettable end without even getting the chance to finish things with me. Which, thank God for that, it would save me the trouble having to go through with our little fight. See, for someone like me, it would have been no mean feat to take down a behemoth like that. Hey, um... I tell you, I was actually pretty worried. I mean, she'd violated the rule by attacking me in the first place. I wasn't able to punish her. I don't know who it was, but whoever the blackened is this time, I owe you one. What is this? Oh, them one. <laughs> See, before you got all pissy potty on me, better figure out who did it first. Shing. Cause me and your lives are on the line, right? What is this? What the hell? He owes them one. I hate him. I hate this whole thing. <laughs> well, I for one, I'm glad it was Sakura. She was working for the mastermind after all. How can you say that now? <laughs> Sorry, I don't have time for your squabbling. The next game has already begun. I'm only angry at someone being angry at whoever killed Sakura. Anyway... Right, now our top priority needs to be uncovering Sakura's killer. If we can't do that, we're all dead. Hmm. Let's decide who's standing the guard this time. I'll do it. You know? I'm okay. Just let me handle it. Besides, I want to be here with Sakura. That's fine. Okay then, here is guard number one. We need one more. Kyoko, that's you. What? Hmm. No one's a thorn in my side. This time, just stand by and watch quietly. Consider that an order. An order? That's fine. Fine. I'll stay behind. Hmm. Let's settle. Let's begin, shall we? Hold on. Before that, there's something I wanted to say. What? Which is... Hero Byakuya Tokyo, none of you are allowed to step one foot in the crime scene. Huh? What? It's your fault! One of you killed Sakura! I won't forgive you. So won't let someone like that come anywhere near her. Stop talking. Oh, stupid. Our lives are just as much danger as yours. We have every right to investigate. I don't care what you say, I'm not letting one who killed Sakura anywhere near here. If it means I have to use force, you're not getting in here. Because further discussion would be a waste of time. What a compromise. It's all clear. Don't ask you to let us all in. Just let me. What? What? Hm. I don't really care, do you? You're both useless anyway. Yep. Nope. Don't really care. <laughs> I'd rather spend my time coming up with another splendid fantasy involving Master anyway. Hm. And you, Hira, do you really object? Uh, um. Couldn't you go that far? What can I do? I mean, I have anything to hide, so why should I care? It's all clear. Then it's decided. What are you saying? Nothing's decided. Calm down. I know how you feel, Hina, but you should agree to this request. But! Hey. We have to find out who killed Sakura. Correct. For those of us still alive and honor Sakura's name. Fine. I guess that's okay. No matter what, Byakuya, you absolutely aren't allowed to touch her. <laughs> Actually, we don't want to touch a filthy dead body. Listen. It's not fighting. We need to focus on investigation from here on out. Everyone keep this in mind. We can't uncover Sakura's killer. Listen to me. All of us face execution. I never killed Sakura. It's not a matter of hoping we can do it. It's not. If we want to try, we have to do it. 
It's kind of hopeless hope. You have no choice but just do it. Investigate. I better check the Monokuma file just in case. The victim is Sakura Ogami. At the time of death, is estimated to be around 12 o'clock noon. Body discovered in the rec room on the third floor of the school. The evidence was strong blow to the victim's head, though what their injuries were noted. Ever since at some point, the victim suffered from violent, violent vomiting of blood. Hey. I think this the case this time might be a challenge. Why is that? So the only one in the rec room is the door we just came through. The door had been jammed shut from the door from inside the rec room. Which means the killer would have had to escape somehow after barring the door. So if the door's blocked from the inside, there's no way in or out until we block broke the window. There's like zero escape, right? In other words. In other words, this is a classic locked room murder. Locked room murder? You might see this kind of thing a lot in mystery books or novels movies or books or whatever. Could it really happen in real life? Right before my very eyes like this? Hey. Are you curious to learn more about what a locked room murder entails? Sure, if you don't mind. That's fine. When you break this kind of murder mystery, there are four basic types. The first type is when the locked room is created after the actual crime is committed. Something means a killer commits this crime, then goes through some special methods to seal the room. Something involves a sort of trick involving locking up the room. The basic approaches include using a string or symbol mechanism. There are a uh, number of variations. I would have to check the door to see if that, that's what it was, right? Correct. The second type is when the locked room already exists before the crime is committed. Oh? In other words... Basically, the killer uses a special contraption or tool from outside to target the victim inside. Touch the switch and it fires a handgun and you shoot an arrow through a gap in the door, something like that. However... In this case, it doesn't seem to fit. There are no guns or arrows in the school and the door doesn't have any gap that would allow it. I think we probably cross someone off the list. It's true. The third type is when the killer stays in the room until it's opened up. What do you mean by that? In other words... They stay hidden and when the door is open, they use the confusion to blend in with the group. They pretend they showed up along with everyone else and that's... Just, that's that. Sounds like it could have been possible, maybe. It's true. And the fourth and final is when it wasn't actually a locked room at all. Not a locked room. In other words... I mean, there's actually an alternate escape route somewhere within the room. You see this a lot in novels and things, but in reality, it's generally not possible. You think we can cross that one off too? Indeed. I believe so, yes. So when it comes to locked room mysteries, these are the basics. There are four possibilities. In Kyoko, which of those four possibilities seems most likely in this case? It's true. It's a question. Answering that could be our primary focus during this trial. But right now, I can't really say. I see. The way the killer set up the rock. I'm getting really tired of this mucus. <clears throat> Until I figure out the truth behind Sakura's death was still hidden. Definitely a tough mystery. I need to concentrate and investigate as much as I can. Sakura, if nothing else. Alright, search. <clears throat> Let's start by looking for clues, then we can question people from there. This looks like some kind of rapper. Huh? That's... You recognize it, Hina? No. Well, yeah, I gave it to her. It's a candy wrapper. Sakura got super upset when she found out Genesis of Jack had attacked me, right? So after we left the nerf stops, I gave it to her. That might help her calm down a little. So you gave that candy to Sakura. I found a big box of it in the warehouse. I really like them. Just as soon as we can get into the warehouse, I took the entire box back to my room. I sure nobody else could get their hands on them. I really like them that much. Because, I mean... <clears throat> I want Sakura to get a chance to try one for herself. That's why I gave it to her. Now they've lost all their flavor. You know. Alright, so we found out we have a polka dot candy wrapper. Okay, there's some broken glass of some kind. <clears throat> Shards of glass scattered all around the chairs Sakura is sitting on. Glass is red and there are top and bottom sections of the bottle, right? This must have originally been a bottle. Glass shards on the floor have been added to the truth section. Something else on the ground near the glass. It's a figure, it fits in the palm of my hand. It's a Matakuma figure. <coughs> Add it to our notebook, and I think I know where that motherfucker came from. They're two missing. Four battles lined up on the shelf. There's a pawn, a rook, a bishop, and I think that's a queen. I'm wondering how they get these those figures inside the bottles. I want to know too. So 
<clears throat> some standard chip in a bottle. Huh? You know, where the bottle's opening is smaller than the boat placed inside? Never seen that? Well, yeah, maybe I have. In other words... It's a Monokuma version of that, a Monokuma bottle, if you will. I feel like I'm finally starting to make sense of things, little by little. Monokuma bottle sitting on the shelf. Monokuma found on the ground. Last shards would probably start out as a bottle. And Chakra must have been hit by a bottle in the head with a Monokuma bottle, right? There's a glass and Monokuma figure are evidence of that. I think it's safe to say Monokuma bottle was a weapon. We also seem to be missing two, because we're missing one that would hold either the queen or the king, whichever one that one isn't, and we have the, the knight that's on the floor. There's blood. Must come from Sakura, right? But that doesn't make sense. Why is it so fast from where she died? And did say she vomited up blood. There's something over here. Oh, it's that, uh, that protein shit they were talking about. Some kind of plastic container rolling around near the entrance of this room. So... It looks like a protein drink and it's empty. Sarka must have drank it. Everyone knows how much she loves her protein. She mentioned before that how one, one's how protein was good for all sorts of ailments. Wrong. I wouldn't take that to heart if I were you. I know. Still, this protein can. It's got a label on it says Chem A2. Reminds me, Sakura mentioned how the chem lab all kinds of health stuff. I must have gotten this from the chem lab. Just a second. That's strange. What is? Hey. See what's scattered around the can? Shards of light blue glass. It must be parts of the window I broke to get inside. Correct. But they aren't just scattered around the can, they're also underneath it. Why does that matter? So I can't say for sure, but yet we're probably gonna take it. We're probably gonna want to take note of it. I feel like it's become an important clue later on. I'm not sure how. Well, if they're underneath the bottle, it means that the bottle was either dropped after we broke the window, or the somehow there's glass that was broken underneath it. Even after we broke through. Alright, can we check out Sakura's body at all? <clears throat> Sakura drove the last trap sitting slumped forward in this chair. There's obvious evidence of low. <clears throat> of the blow to the head, Sakura suffered. I really wouldn't be of any problem believing that was what killed her, but according to Monokuma Bio, she also... Kuma file, she had also vomited blood. And I could see a trace of blood on her lips for sure. So what would have caused her to vomit blood? Monokuma specifically said she hadn't suffered any other injuries. <clears throat> Maybe her getting head on the head somehow caused her to start vomiting blood? <laughs> Not a chance. Yakuya. That's fine. However, your eyes have landed in the most interesting location. Interesting. Naturally. Yes, yeah, most interesting. Don't you agree? No, I don't think I'd call it interesting. It does make me wonder. The reason Sakura Vomit Blood actually has to be connected to why she died. Alright. Does Hina have anything to what tell us? I already know who did it. <laughs> Yakuya Togo or Hiro. It had to be one of them. I couldn't stand the sight of her. You agree with me, don't you, Makoto? Um, well, I don't want to say anything for sure without finding out more. Let me help you find out more. You see, Sakura asked all three of us to meet with her, you know, right? Right here in the rec room. Asked all three of them to meet with her in the rec room. What? After I went to the nurse office this morning, Sakura and I both left together, right? Eventually, she went off on her own. When I saw her again, she told me. She said she left a note for each of them. She asked them to meet her in the rec room by noon. By noon, the Monokuma said she died right around then. <clears throat> I'm telling you the truth. I heard it from Sakura herself. And I tried to stop her. She wouldn't listen. She said not to worry. That's what she wanted to talk to them. This is what happened. If I had stopped her by force even, this would never have happened. You know. It's possible not to have regrets, I know. God, my nose is absolutely wanting me to die! Alright, so we have her account now. Cool. She asked those three to meet with her. Just when going to the rec room at noon, the same time and place she ended up dying. <clears throat> I get to, get to confirm what I just heard from three of them directly. Right. Anything you want to give us, Kyoko, before I start investing in them? But before Sakura has been killed. And she's not the type to go down without a it's fight. True. But she certainly didn't, I would say. She's the ultimate martial artist, strong in body, mind, and spirit. And so how the killer was able to get the upper hand on her? Wonder, did someone get the upper hand? 
I'm taking her by surprise, right? Certainly. Certainly. They would need it too if they expect to send any chance against her. Alright, Byakuya, what do you have to say about what? this? What? you want? You're bothering me. Uh, there's something I'd like to talk to you about. Hmm. Make it quick. It's true the soccer asked you to meet her in the rec room? Because <laughs> you found out. Interesting. That's true. Hmm. I did receive a note to that effect, yes. What fool will do it when it's said and risk being killed by that monster? You didn't go see her? Hmm. Of course not. I ripped the note to shreds and threw it away. I haven't seen soccer today at all. Yeah, said he, he didn't go to see her. Is that the truth? Until I can prove otherwise, I have no choice but accept this fact. Come on. If you're, all, if you're all finished, please remove yourself from my sight. Okay, thanks. Alright, so we have Byakin's account on that. Now we gotta go find what the others are and talk to them about it. I think we've gotten everything else in this room. <clears throat> Alright, just wanna check if there's anything else to note on there. What the heck? So. <clears throat> the door doesn't have a lock, and there's no evidence of the mounting cement tape tampered with. The only notable change to the door is a wind smashed window, which happened, of course, when I broke to get inside. So I've been some any kind of string or mechanism that was used on the door. In other words, I don't see anything suspicious about the door itself. Okay, so is that everything in here? Oh, wait, what the fuck? The locker's open, and there's... on the inside. It's a handprint. Why? What's a handprint doing here? Looks like someone touched the inside of the locker and left a handprint in all the dust. It's true. It looks quite fresh, too. I'd say someone was hiding here in the locker and they left behind a little something extra. So then, maybe the killer hid in there until the locker room was open, don't you think? During all the confusion, they popped out and joined the rest of the group? Wrong. Unfortunately, it's not a possibility. Why not? Hey. Think back. Before we opened the door, we looked inside the room, right? It was already open. Oh yeah, the locker was already open at that point. Indeed. So there's no way someone could have hidden in there until after we opened the door. Yeah, so then, what does this handprint mean? Locker handprint's been added to the truth section. <clears throat> Alright, well I think that's all we can get in here then. Um, clock give us anything? I'll repeat. One clock right now, according to Monokuma, that was soccer died around 12. Probably an hour ago. Is that when Kyoko and I were moving Alter Ego? We have blood, the magazine rack, the locker, Sucker herself. Anything on this chair? The chair was shoved against the door now so we couldn't get the door open. There's no evidence that any kind of string or mechanism is used on the chair. But there's no reason to think the chair has anything special done to it. Because I'm both the chair and the chair. There's no doubt the reason to the door didn't open was simply because the chair was shoved up against it. Kept the door not from turning and the door from opening. So I think so the door or chair being tampered with or anything like that. Must have created locks from the inside, not from the outside. <clears throat> so this point is looking like whoever the killer was was either in the room or Sakura committed some form of suicide. Listen. Well, Makoto, have you finished with your general investigation? Yeah, I think so, for the most part. So then... You should probably go talk with people now. I'm on guard duty, so I can't move. Listen to me. So I've decided you'll go in my place. She's excited? She's gotten a lot more pushy since we had our issue. She's right, I have to go talk to the others. Sakura wanted to meet with other two people. I need to hear what they have to say. <clears throat> Alright, leaving the area. So the two probably went back to their rooms. Alright. I also want to check the chem lab at some point because it said that it came from there, so there might be more evidence. Right, so. Let's see. Yaka, Yakuya, but we already talked to him. Shanko and Toko. Press the doorbell. After a few seconds. Who's there? Against the nugget of ore, I've ever felt more of total decay. Well, what do you want? So you're back to normal. Genocide Jack isn't around anymore. Don't even say her name. It makes me sick to my stomach. That's be a weird thing for her to like actually deal with the fact that like she has another personality, it just goes around killing people. I was in such a good mood too. 
Shin looked like he was in a good mood. Hey, I was <clears throat> hoping to talk to you about something. Is now a bad time? <clears throat> <clears throat> Obviously, you know, I took a slitter out into the hall. What do you want? Yes, I want to talk to you. I want to talk about the fact Sakura had asked you to meet with them. What? Wow. I don't know what you're talking about. Yaki already told me she had asked to meet with him. But she wanted to meet with the master too. She just said this too, didn't I? Yeah. Guess now it's totally obvious, huh? Yeah, pretty much. So can you tell me about it? I admit, I did get the note. But I didn't go see her. I was scared, so I couldn't bring myself to go. I claim she didn't go to see her, but I can't really believe her. So I'll prove it otherwise. I have no choice but to accept this fact. Mm -hmm. Is this that good enough? And then I'm going back to my room. Uh, Toko quickly entered into, retreated into her room. All right, so we have her account too. She didn't go and meet with her. Pyakia didn't go and meet with her, to our knowledge so far. So I guess now we gotta go find Hero. Press the doorbell. After a few seconds. You know? What's up, Magoda? Do you need something? Actually, I just want to check something. It's about how Sakura wanted to meet with you. What? What? How'd you know about that? Could it be? Did you maybe gaze into my soul? Have you special abilities awakened in you? Uh, um. But I'm not the only one she wanted to meet with. Rupert told me herself that she asked the Aki and Toko to come too. What? When did Sakura tell you that? What? Oh, well. When she asked me to meet with her, of course. But didn't she write you a note? <sighs> yeah, a note. She, uh, How about that? she gave it to me in person. She happened to mention the others, like, in passing. Got to be honest, this is super suspicious. So then you went and met with Sakura. Got it all wrong. No way, I totally didn't. Why would I ever do that? Yeah, definitely suspicious. Actually. Last time I saw her was when Hina got hurt. I took her to the nurse's office. D don't look at me! I haven't seen her since then. Um, here, could you show me the note she gave you? Uh, oh, um, um, do I still have it? Let's see. Turning around in his pockets. Hey, come Sorry, on. looks like I don't have it anymore. With a goofy smile on his face, he pulled his hands back out of his pockets. When I did, I saw something flooded to the ground. Something had fallen out of his pocket. Huh? Huh? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Lucas went in here, snatched it back up again, and shoved it back in his pocket. Hey, come Sorry, on. just the trash I've got to throw out. Trash? What? What? Anyway, I can't deny Ogre asked to meet with me, but I never went. So, well, if you'll excuse me. We're waiting for a reply. Hero quickly slipped back into his room. He was said there was just trash, but there's no way that was all there was to it. Yeah, there was another rapper. And Hina herself said that she had taken all of them and only given one to. given some to Sakura. So I'm guessing Sakura had given. One is like a show of good faith to a hero. <clears throat> Meaning Hero probably did actually run into her. I'll go in Hero. What next? I'll definitely have to check out the actual crime scene again, but on top of that, check out more about the protein can we found in the phone record. Should have something to, uh, might have come up. Sure must have come from the can lab. So where should I start? I'm guessing well, we've already done a pretty good check out of the uh, environment. Unless some <clears throat> something's popped up that I missed. Let's go. Here. Almost the camp lab. Yeah, he was here. Dakota, did you have your eye on the chem lab too? Just make sure you don't get in my way. Yeah, I got it. I think we meant to say was yes, sir. I understand. Hey, fuck you, bro. What's this? This isn't my first time seeing the shelf, but I just can't get over how big it is. Should probably take a closer look at it. Looks like three shelves have been connected together to make one giant shelf. I'm important right now. This the powder has been stolen from the shelf. I have to be careful when I step in it. This broken bottle in front of the shelf. Is this where all the powder came from? <clears throat> Not a label on it. Chem C4. Hmm. Would you like to hear something interesting? I was on the floor floor this morning checking things out, and at that point, it's really something like this. This powder must have been spilled. So, in other words... That's right. It could only have been around the time of the incident. 
That really is what happened. It must have been related to the case somehow. There's footprints here, too. Only footprints in front of the left shelf. Hmm. How does footprints relate to the scene as a whole? We made it to the sketch of the floor plan. By we, do you mean me? Hmm. How kind of you to offer? An insufferable smirk, he handed me a piece of paper and a pen. What? Oh, let's go. Chop, chop. Okay. So I got to work, and before long, I had drawn up a sketch of the room. Um, so how's this? <laughs> Not bad. For you, I mean. For me. I see. So when you look at it like this, interesting. Here, that whoever left these footprints only had business that left on the shelf. They came in, went straight to that shelf, did whatever they had to do, and then left. That's what the footprints tell me. I see. These footprints must be. It's certainly. Coda, are they yours? No. What? Okay, then let me see your shoes, and I'll confirm their size for myself. The only reason not to is what Kelly did with Biakria said. Hmm. See, your feet, your feet do appear to be too big. Personally, I must admit these are not your footprints. Unfortunately, hmm. <clears throat> it looks clear how. With how clear these footprints are, it should be quite easy to determine who they do belong to. Footprints are really a valuable clue. Let's see, what's on the shelf? This is a different kind of dietary supplements and different medicines. Protein drink we found in the rec room probably came from the shelf. All contains a shelf labeled with the letter A and a number. Consider as part of the shelving unit, section A. Label. <coughs> one bottle that here is labeled C9. Someone put it there an accident? This shell is. I'm looking I can tell it's nothing but dangerous chemicals. It looks like poisons and other powerful chemicals. All the containers on the shelf are labeled with the letter C and a number. I guess I'm going part of the shelving unit. C. So in this shelf is, it looks like a bunch of chemicals I have no idea what they are. They're reagents, but simply they're using chemicals to bring about a chemical reaction. Experiments with a chemical reaction. Even such ignorance for so long must truly be the place. Isn't that kind of harsh? What? I mean, think studying science and mathematics is no practical application in the real world? That's fine. The words of a long flying loser, which I suppose suits you well. I didn't say that. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Right now I need to focus on the shelf. Containers shelf labeled the letter B in a number, so I guess I can sit as part of the shelving unit B. It's anything out of the ordinary here, which guess I don't have to worry too much about this shelf. I don't know more about the shelving unit. Looks like it's split into three sections. Section A is dietary supplements, B reagents, and section C has lethal chemicals. I think we've gotten protein powder from A. Correct? Right. Concerns me is in section A there was a bottle labeled for section C. <coughs> what was a bottle of poison in section C doing in section A? Definitely something going on here. Let's look at that bottle one more time and see if it'll add anything. Broken bottle. C4. Hmm. Didn't look like this. So, in other words... Kind of the incident. Alright. So I think that's all. Okay. This broken bottle in front of the shelf. This broken powder came from. Hmm. Alright, so, so it's nothing there. powder itself. A bunch of yellow powder scattered across the floor. I bet in a late footprint. Should probably take a good hard look at that powder. A bunch of yellow powder scattered on the floor in front of the shelf. Both remains of a broken bottle. Looks like it was labeled chemical C4. It looks like it was someone left footprints in the powder. Based on the position of footprints, whoever it was a... whoever it was, was the only one went to the left side of the shelf. I mean, the only one went for the dietary supplements. And the Aki, the powder would have had to have been spilled right around the time of the incident. That's all I can tell for now. I think that's all, right? I've already taken a good look at the chem lab. Maybe I should go take another look at the rec room. Alright. Nothing else in here. Yeah, let's get out of here. Hey. So, Makoto, what's your invest how's your investigation going? Tokyo about Toko and Hiro told me. I see. So along with Byakuya, they both weren't claiming they didn't go see her. It's also convenient. Someone must be lying. Someone's lying. Anyway. Well, I've made some progress of my own. Dr. Spotty, the shop of magazines, the monochrome bottles. These three things have revealed new clues. You do well look over them one more time. Alright, so start here. 
Okay, what's that? Shana Kumba. Kumba bottles. Something's new. Something new. Hmm. Two of them are missing. Hey. And we don't know where the second one is. Between all the bottles, play careful attention and you'll find it. Correlation. Um. Hey, Kyoko, can you just tell me what it is? So... I don't mind guiding you towards clues, but giving you my conclusion is not a good idea. This person needs to come to their own conclusion so that everyone can have confidence in their outcome. And it's not just because you don't trust me, right? No answer? <laughs> I do trust you to a degree, otherwise I wouldn't have told you anything to begin with. Only to agree. Monokuma Battle has been updated in the truth section of the notebook. Hey. Actually, there's one other thing about the Monokuma Battle that's really bothering me. I'd like to do an experiment to confirm it. You don't mind helping me, right? Experiment? Anyway. Can you gather up all the pieces of the broken Monokuma Battle and try and get the smaller pieces too? You sure? It's okay to mess with a crime scene like that? That doesn't matter. We're already done with thorough investigation, so it's fine. That obnoxious that the Akio's not here, so. So then. Anyway, I need to get some from the cam lab, so while I'm gone, try to gather all of the glass. That Kyoko left the room. I don't know what this is about, but the choice I have, I better just do it. Took the broom and dustpan and got to work collecting all the broken bottle pieces. <clears throat> just as I finished up. Sorry to keep you waiting. So then. Is everything ready? Let's get back to work. So what kind of experiment are we doing? In other words. Got a scale from the chem lab. We're going to use it to compare weights. Compare weights of what? <laughs> Piece of glass you collected and the one the Mongomo bottle was still in the stack. Why do you want to do that? Point of the experiment will make sense when we're done. Listen. First, we'll compare the weight of two of the normal Monokuma bottles. Evens out. Okay. In other words. Which means each Monokuma bottle weighs about the same. Which makes sense. Monokuma figure inside are basically the same and nothing could really affect the weight. So then. So here comes the important part. Put all the pieces you picked up from one side of the box scale. Now what, what might you expect to see? It's balanced, because it'd be about the same size. Our pieces I collect will be lighter. <clears throat> I'm gonna get all of them. There's a chance to get a mess some here and there. So then. Okay, let's give it a try. Aha! So there's more pieces than we expected. Which means that the uh, both bottles that are gone, the pieces of the bottle themselves are there, but only the one figure's there. I knew it. Just as I thought. What? In other words, the results of our experiment and the correlation between each of the bottles put it all together. Hey. I believe you will have arrived at one very persuasive conclusion. So what do you think? It's all on you. Yeah, I got it. I got a Kyoko, even if my cub is being a little dumb butt. Alright, so she also said magazines. So let's go check out the magazines. Very clue. This magazine is upside down. Someone put it back that way on accident? Hey. Something catches you eyes. Important for you to explain explore it in detail, don't you think? Yeah, you're right. Picks up the inverted magazine flip through it. This, this is one of the pages in your kind of the magazine where it's been written in blood bold bloody letters. It's a toko. Could this be a dying message? Correct. When up here you found it. Toko, is this so... is indeed a dying message. Someone used their fingers to write it. Message. However, just to be clear, I'm not the one who put it back upside down. It's already like that when I found it a little while ago. Be sure to put it exactly as I found it for the benefit others might come looking. Um, hey, is that. This is Toko, right? Yeah, it looks like it. What the heck? Then she's the killer, right? Well, it hasn't been confirmed yet. <laughs> it's settled. She's the killer for sure. That's conclusive evidence, right? We can use it to corner the killer. I can see why you think that, but it seems too easy. <coughs> if anything, it makes me. <coughs> Not much more suspicious. Magazine dying message. Alright. Um Let's check out Sakura's body. Still something we discovered from Sakura's Just body. Just a second. Staring off in space isn't gonna help you figure anything out. Well, yeah, I know, but hey. don't you think you might need to actually really examine the body? Whew. So I'm getting around it. Unlike me, Kyoko didn't recoil the thought of touching a dead body, which is completely unemotional. It's the kind of thing I've grown perversely used to. Though there are still some times. I can't believe how calm you are. No matter how many times I see a dead body, I can't get used to it's it. It's true. That's totally normal. But how can you? So. Imagine it's because I've had plenty of opportunities to touch bo dead bodies in the past. What? Sorry. Never mind. Hey. More importantly, look here. Oh, shoot. Oh, the yellow! The powder! The fucking powder! Correct. See that yellow powder on her instep? Yeah, it really stands out. I see. That powder's clue number one. 
Yellow powder has been added to the truth. But icky, a yep. Hey. Swim to her head. Look carefully. It's true. Actually, even telling you that it's incredibly difficult. But let me just explain. It would seem. Pierce she didn't suffer a single blow, but instead received two blows to the head. Two blows. Indeed. Interesting, wouldn't you say? And there's one more interesting thing. Correct. Of her hands were spotless. We no trace of blood in either one. It's true. That's what I learned from examining her body in detail. Kyoko's examination summary has been added. I believe she was able to learn all that just by looking at her body. I don't think anyone with Kyoko would have pulled that off. Oh, here we go! It's class trial time, y'all! Here we fucking go! Whoops! He had caught me sleeping! Your investigation was just so boring, I couldn't stay awake! Should I do it? Is it okay? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? Okay, then let's begin the class <coughs> trial! You know where to meet, right? Yep, yep, Please yep. Please go through the red door on the first floor of the school. <laughs> Alright, see you soon. Let's fucking do this, y'all. Mystery the locked room is still only half solved. At this point, whatever happens will have to happen at the class trial. No, not whatever happens. I have to make something happen. Alright. Second class trial of the day, y'all. Gomei made his announcement and everyone began to meet up one after another. And then... <laughs> the ultimate martial artist! Locked room murder mystery! What? <clears throat> okay. <laughs> oh, I've just recently discovered the power of emoticons! Like, no matter how awful something is, if you toss in a little smiley face, it turns positive. Yes, indeed! For example, <laughs> if you're at a picnic and you find a dead body, hoo-hoo! <laughs> <sighs> this is just plain creepy. Well... And how about the reverse? No matter how great something is, if you put a sad face, it makes it look super negative! Yes, indeed! For example, hmm. you have a hundred friends, hmm. Oh, that's right, that does make it seem sad. I can't wait! Tell them, please get wait. on the elevator. Ooh. I'll see you all down there. You know? <laughs> what the hell was that? Mm. I don't get it. Just the worst. I don't get you guys. How can you act so casual for murdering someone? D don't look at me. I think I'm acting casual. Don't be mean. I mean, I didn't murder anyone. What yeah, I'm completely innocent. How dare you call me a murderer? What the heck? Whatever. Hm. The way the truth will be revealed soon enough. Because there's no doubt one of us is the culprit. Oh, the one that murdered Sakura. <laughs> Stronger than anyone I knew, and yet someone killed her. That person is here. That person is one of us. Let's fucking go. When it was time to put an end to this, I made my way to the elevator. With each step I felt like I was moving further and further away from my goal. I feel a chilling fear running through me, trying to make me rot from the inside out. But how many times I got through this and never got any easier. I learned her seal prison in total silence. We watched the doors close, and it felt like it felt to begin a sinister descent. Elevator lowered, uttering its all too familiar clunking sounds. It felt lower and lower, and suddenly, as always, the ride was over. The doors opened once again. Egyptian me. Just a six of you, huh? Really? As so few, you must be so lonely. See, it's not your fault we're all that's left. <laughs> I wonder, will the class trial end with one less cabinet again? <laughs> or will you two will let come to an end completely? Now then. Are we ready to begin? You know the drill. Find your assigned seats. And so the curtain opened for the fourth time. A deadly judgment, a deadly deception, a deadly betrayal, a deadly riddle, a deadly defense, a deadly faith, a deadly class trial. <laughs> 